Shakti, very strong mindfulness. He came to see his life beginning from a very young childhood up to the present moment. He saw very clearly how his mother cuddled him. So this is what Sarah says, like a movie showing your study uh, times of your life. It is like when you record something by taking a picture with a camera. The images are there in the film. But the images, you cannot see the images because it is still in a film. You have to develop and print it. Then only you can see the images. First, there was an image. Then you store the image. The movies also. You shoot the movies. It is in the film. You develop the images in the frame already negative. So this is where you store it. Now you run this thing through the projector, then you can see the image yes very clearly. So it is the same thing. Your encounter or happenings in the past are recorded in by your mind. It is stored in your mind. And because of the meditation, because of the power of sanya, you replay it again so that your past incidences, past encounters and your childhood come up to your mind in a very clear manner.
30 years ago there was another instance <coughs> a nine year old novice and Siada was his meditation teacher and Siada interviewed him so at this stage when wisdom is about to clear up not the mature stage earlier stage what happened is he saw himself beginning from the conception in his mother's womb the combination of mother's ovary and the father's uh, semen and he saw the frog to start with in the mother's womb one week later this frog became a solid yeah. Yeah. And one week later, he saw again stumps in the solid, the stumps where the head was going to form, where the leg was going to form, etc. And then he could tell this to Seattle in a very rapid manner. This sort of happenings in the sequence are given in Abhidhamma. And this novice had no knowledge of Abhidhamma also. And even Seattle who knew Abhidhamma very well, could not tell the sequences as fast as this nine-year-old novice. Now after that, what he saw is, he saw himself in the mother's womb. And he was able to relate to Siado that whenever the mother took a cool drink, he would feel cool. And for instance, when the mother took chili, this embryo, we call it, in the mother's womb, would feel the heat. If, when the mother gets up, he encountered a lot of bouncing in the mother's womb. And this was told to Seattle by this nine-year-old novice in a very clear manner. ユーピアラ、ユーピアラ、ユーピアラ、ユーピアラ、ユーピアラ、ユーピアラ、ユーピアラ、ユーピアラ、ユーピアラ、ユーピアラ、ユーピアラ、ユーピアラ、ユーピ
the meaning of super data. Super means excel. Super. Su. Extreme. Extra strong. Upa means extreme. Extreme. Upa means uh, sticking. Sticking to the object that you cannot take them apart. So when a new object arises, the mind is stuck on the object. You cannot take them apart. So this kind of uh, the images are seen because of this extreme mindfulness. Now when you have this kind of mindfulness, when your mind is bent on something, for example Manasikara, you reflect on something, immediately you will see the form and shapes like that. Uh, for example, with your ordinary eyes, you, may, you will not see the past. But when you have this kind of extreme mindfulness, you can see your past easily. It is like something like a uh, divine eye. In Pali it is known as Dipachaku. Dipachaku, because of the Dipachaku you can see your previous lives also. But what Shadow is telling you now is from the text as well as from the practical experience. ไปเจอเลยสิเรียดคุณเนี่ยคุณเสียสบายเลยอาบีละเลยค่ะมาเราเตรียมปอกตัวเลยทุกคนตัวดูเว้ยเรื่องมาเลยอยู่สาดิเ
So when the yogis are meditation, this nimitas or images can come up like a dream. Now this kind of dream can be uh, two categories, akusala and kusala. Now for example, when you are free from the Uranas, there can be a thinking. And then what can happen is, you may encounter something pleasurable. So you have attachment and you have greed. Now if you are not satisfied with something, you will dislike it and dosa can come up. So this is the result, Akusala result. Similarly, you can have Kusala result, Kusala thinking also. The show, Kuago, Yamishiwena Ato Mirare, Shashiwena Shara, Vivian Dada, you want to see the Shiva, I know it came out of Hama. Here I saw you so I will. You can read the Chitta, you can read the Chitta. Sometimes people will practice meditation without a meditation teacher. Sometimes, even if they are practicing under a meditation teacher, they will not obey the instruction given. So, at times like for instances like this, when these images come up, and when they think about this, they can be in real trouble, and they can even go mad. It is not the meditation or the mark that is giving trouble. But along the way, the yogi, a particular yogi, may think that false dhamma is the right dhamma. And they may not be complete with the mark, but they think they are complete with the mark. At times like this, sanya, a procession, will enlarge the situation. When this happens, it is pretty difficult to remedy the situation. ที่ดูนี่อันนี้เนี่ยนะที่ชาวคุณก็เสียงเสียงนะคุณก็คิดว่าไม่เป็นอะไรกันเด็กเจ้าเรื่องนี้นะมันมันให้รู้ตัวเ
our practice. Now when we see this nimitta or images, we must contemplate on it. But the nature of the mind is so quick. And when the images come up, if we only think and if we do not contemplate on it, what happens is, if it is a pleasant situation, there will be attachment involved. So here we have akusala. In other words, our mind is not clear. So when we have this situation, it can have consequences on oneself and to others also. Now if you have gone further to a state of madness or lunacy, it can have serious consequences on others also. And you will get bad things, bad results. ตัวโพนี้เนี่ยเมียเนี่ยเทเนี่ยเนี่ยสิกสิเนี่ยเนี่ยตัวอะไรเนี่ยเนี่ยสิทธิ์ทางเนี่ยสิทธิ์ตาม
you are allowing the images to continue, it will be like destroying the photograph by the light. Here, Sanya has a role to play. But if you are mindful, this enlargement by Sanya cannot happen. You can stop them. But <coughs> it will not do if you do not know them straight away. That is why the teachers are telling you, meditation teachers are telling you, you have to note them as soon as the objects appear. Maybe this instruction is given to have the incidences like the camera. If there is too much interference from the light, there will be no image. So if you want to have a good image in the frame, you have to develop. You have to avoid the light. So in meditation practice, to avoid the disturbances which can be enlarged by the sanya, you have to note the object as soon as they arise. <laughs> but there is a real difference between meditation or noting and a camera. Now while you are meditating, you are noting so that the images will not come up to your mind. Okay? And even if the images come up, you note them so that the images will go away. But on the other hand, when you take a photograph with a camera, it is because you want the images to be seen on the frame. So this is the difference between taking photograph and between meditating or noting. When you have mindfulness, the images will not come up, which is conducive to Kilesara. Only when the images come up and when you cannot stop the images from appearing, then Kilesa will enter your mind. But on the other hand, if you have mindfulness, the images will not come up, your mind will become clean. So this is the uh, extraordinary practice that can be ex experienced by Satipatthana um, yogis. Why 
ဒီကြီးတဲ့ဖန်တွေမှာတော်ရဲ့ဖြစ်ပဲဘာသူတို့အဲ့ဒီတော့ဝါဝါဘူးဒီကြီးတဲ့ဒီကြီးတဲ့
ไม่ได้ยินเลยเนี่ยสุขิตาจะสมาธิเนี่ยนี่เนี่ยสมาธิก็เป็นอย่างนี้ครับนี่ก็เป็นอย่างนี้ครับนี่ก็เป็นอย
if it is allowed by the medical team teacher. Now, if you do the long hour sitting without the permission of the meditation center, you can slip off from your meditation path. So, the but you must not do the city meditation before you complete one hour of walking meditation because the concentration developed during the walking meditation will be carried to the sitting meditation. That's all for today.